Importing an existing list into Action Network is very easy, whether you're migrating your email list or transferring a sign-in sheet from an event. Uploads are a feature reserved for our partners, so if you're interested in becoming a partner, please visit us at actionnetwork.org slash partnerships. To begin, go to the Start Organizing menu and click Uploads. Select the group that you're working from from the drop-down menu and click to add a new upload. There are several different types of uploads. You can upload by email address, unique ID, or even upload transactions. For now, we're going to just stick with uploading by email address. We have a sample file here, and I encourage you to take a look at it and even copy it exactly for your own upload. For now, let's just take a look at the file I already have. We always recommend uploading first name, last name, email address, and zip code, but only email address is required. One email address equals one activist. There's a couple other fields that we have, like address, city, state, country, and language, and all of these are what we call our core fields that are common across all of Action Network. If you do not put anything in the country field or do not have it at all, the activist country will default to the United States. You can change this by putting in the two-letter country code for each activist. You can also create as many custom fields in this top row as you want, like my custom field, my story, or company name. You'll have the opportunity to match these fields to your Action Network custom fields later on, so your column headings don't need to be perfect right now. When your spreadsheet is done, make sure to save your file as a CSV. So just go to File, Save As, and select the file format as a CSV. This is a common mistake, so make sure it's not an Excel file or something else. Now let's go back to our upload page and browse for our file. Then give your file a name. This name will show up during your targeting later on, so make sure to give it a clear name, something like list migration August 2018. If you want, your next step is to choose one or more tags that will be assigned to each person in this upload. You can select tags here or create a new one. You can also select a start time for your upload if you don't want it to upload right now. In our other upload videos, we'll go over what each of these checkboxes mean. They're a bit more advanced. For now, let's save and go to the next step. Here, you will match your column headings to the field on the back end. The columns you provided will show up here on the left, and our custom fields will show up here on the right. You can select fields that you already have from the drop-down menu, or even create new fields by clicking this green button. When you're done, just click the blue Finish Upload button. And this brings you to a list of all of your uploads. You can see the date that each of these uploads was added and how many new activists it brought into your list. If you have thousands of people on your list, it may take a minute or two to completely upload, but once it's done, you've uploaded your email list. For more information on uploads, please watch our Advanced Uploads video tutorial. And for more information on this or any of our other features, please visit help.actionnetwork.org.